Welcome to the Command Report, your number one news report for the Washington Commanders. What's going on, Montez? What's up? Last year, setting the expectations with you and Chase, and then maybe not having as much success as you wanted, what did you learn, or, or how are you going to change your approach to have better results this year? I'm not necessarily changing my approach. Uh, we're just worried about winning. I think all that other stuff is take care of stuff. And how just the injuries, your brother's death, just how difficult was that season overall? And, and did you learn anything about yourself as you experienced all that adversity? Yeah, it, was a, it was a difficult time. But I mean, just hone on the things that you, that you grow upon and just facing adversity and moving forward. Just remembering those ones is lost and trusting in God. How did you approach this offseason and what, what was that like? Um, uh, I really wasn't, I, was, I wasn't as uh, depleted as I usually am because I didn't play a full season, so I really got straight to it. So, I mean, I just trained. Where did you train and what did you focus on? I trained in my hometown back in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. And just focusing on my body, recovery, strength, and pass rush skills. Just to kind of follow up on the adversity, like, are you, are you just doing okay? Like, just kind of how are you, how are you holding up? I'm fine. And um, just in terms of wanting to attack this offseason, was there any more motivation or anything about how last year played out? Or that's definitely motivation. Uh, definitely, when you have a down year, you want to bounce back, show them those naysayers that you still got it. But I mean. This year, I'm just trying to prove myself where I'm not really worried about the outside at all. We, Jack came in. He, Jack had talked about his thing. Ron talked about Jack speaking to the team. Where do you stand on that? It, it, are you able to push out a size? Is that something you talked to him about? I mean, Jack has always showed love and respect to me. That's all I know from him. His political views and all that other stuff that he feels, that's his opinion. We might not have the same outlook on things, but as long as he showed love and respect like he has, with all the guys in the workplace there, I'm good. Do you feel like as a unit, you guys are, are in a good place coming into this season? Almost definitely. Uh, I, I feel the gelling. But I mean, we got a lot, we got a long way to go, so. Hey, Montez, this team uh, exercised your fifth year option. They obviously wanted you back. You wanted to be back. Uh, how do you think that impacts your responsibilities this year? And how does it feel that the team wanted you back so much? I mean, it's just, uh, a credit to uh, what I've done here and when the organization trusts me. I mean, I, it's definitely a um, motivation just to keep on doing, keep on showing that I can that I can be great and get, keep on getting better. This offseason, have you worked on any specific moves or anything different about your game to improve? Not necessarily. I'm just honing in on all my techniques. Just to follow up on that real quick. Is there any interest in getting a long-term contract done? Any, any discussions or anything of that nature? Uh, I mean, not really worried about that right now. Just worried about winning. Take two or three more. Hey, Montez. Uh, so what have you noticed recently of uh, Benjamin playing in the slot? Uh, like, what have you seen from him that you like in terms of building? Yeah, Benjamin is a good athlete, man. I, I feel like he did good on the outside. I'm sure he'll do well in, on the inside as well. And, like, just have you noticed at any times there's been, you know, times he's uh, had to come in and help out? Like, what have you noticed from him in terms of, like, development and growth? I mean, he's, he's a guy that you can kind of play any anywhere on the, on the bottom on the bottom end rather than the back end. So, I mean, any guy like that that's versatile like that is also is always a plus to the team. Uh, Montez, you mentioned uh, last year just not going on the field, not going the way you, you probably wanted it to go. Before the season started, there was all this talk about you and Chase setting sack records or things like that. When you look back on that, do you look at that as, oh, well, we, th these are things we extend thought and didn't go our way? Or do you look at it and think, eh, maybe we shouldn't have discuss such things openly or things like that? Uh, I mean, I, I think it was it was a bold statement. I mean, I still feel like we're capable, capable of, those things, of those things, but I, I do feel like having the main goal of winning and all that with play itself. Manage the last one. Hey, Montez, what was it like having Warren Sapp out there, and what was kind of the, the takeaway that you got from, from seeing a guy with that much, that many, that many credentials? Oh, it was great. Um, a gold jacket guy, Hall of Famer. Uh, you just feel it, you feel his energy. You feel the way he loves the game, and of course he was giving us tools and game just that he that he's learned upon. So it was great. Thanks for tuning in to the Command Report. Please like, share, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest Washington Commanders news.